What's up YouTube? My name is Shana Karasi and welcome to my channel. So what this channel is about is me teaching you how to create clothing. So if you're anything like me, what I do is I go on the fashion blogs and I would see stuff that I like. And essentially I would go online and look for those exact things. And if I do find them, they'd be really expensive or I'd go to my local retailer and see if they have anything like it and usually they don't have it. So this is where I come in. So each month we choose a theme. So this theme could be relative to the season, relative to the time of year. It could be layering. It could be a theme of, I don't know, winter jackets, it could be spring jackets, it could be beach wear. Whatever the theme is, we take four pieces, four essential pieces from that theme, and I teach you how to make those pieces, step by step. The theme for this month is essential winter accessories. So what I'll be teaching you how to make today is a bubble skirt. So we've seen brands, high luxury brands like Balenciaga do this first. Brands like Mikage do this. Lower level brands like Zara also jump on the bandwagon and do this. So why not have me teach you exactly how to create this bubble skirt? So that's what we're gonna be getting into today. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it step by step. All right, so let's get into it. All right guys, here's what you'll need. Nylon waterproof material, pillow stuffing, scissors, chalk, ruler, measuring tape, matching thread and needle. Lay your fabric out folded and measure the width of your fabric, 15 inches. At that 15 inches mark and use your ruler to trace approximately 52 inches in length across the material. And then go ahead and cut off that excess material. and sew the raw edge of the length of the material and sew the width of the material as well and leave an opening for the other side so that you can insert the filler. fabric inside out, marking six inches across for your quilting, and then another six inches across, and then you're going to mark across eight inches. And then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing as well. Now between those two eight inch marks, find the midpoint and then draw a line down the center. Now here are your quilting guidelines to sew through. Now evenly insert and distribute the fill into the scarf. See in this clip I've already started sewing the quilting. Um, my camera died on me so I'm using my phone in this clip. So just sew through the quilting lines that you created in the previous step. Go 
Well, at the open end of the scarf, insert the raw edges into the scarf so that they're not visible and then sew that edge of the scarf. This is how the scarf should be worn when it's completed. So what I've done here is added five snap buttons along the outer edge and then I'd added a bigger snap button just to make sure that the scarf is secure in place. And just to show you how I put it on, so I fold the top end, the top end of the scarf over the bottom, snap the button on the top, the bigger button on the top, and then the five buttons on the uh, bottom. And this is how it should be worn. Check out how I put it together with an outfit in the next clip. <laughs> I'm not